Hey guys, Road Warrior back here. I recently just placed first in Tiger Trails and I was uh, one fish away the last time. Now that they've patched the telescopic rod, a lot of other people will have a chance. Anybody that's wanting to do this traditional manner, I'm going to show you my marks that I used to take first in this. I do have a, a lot of marks, but I'm going to go through the main ones that I like. Uh, that one there is actually a lure mark, but I'll show you an upcoming clip. It's also spot on uh, in regards to using it as a uh, bait rod. Also, uh, this is another really hot spot that you guys probably seen me fish before. Uh, that's usually a good spot for number two. Um, and again, there's more spots down here. And that's a dual spot. Usually once I get down from over there, I'll come over to here. Also a dual spot. You can get the, uh, the African tiger fish as well. Uh, this spot over here I'm going to show you is not as well known. Um, this spot here, you guys will see me fishing on stream a lot. This, the unique's also here, as well as that's a good bait mark. Uh, now, you can farm both of these spots. Good thing in Tiger Trails is you can hit uh, both of them. You won't be able to get two uniques. You never get uniques in that thing anyway, unless somebody's using a telescopic rod. But I wanted to put some marks up in the event anybody didn't have them. And I'm going to show you the upcoming clip of me going through here. Uh, also, some bonus marks if you were to need them. Uh, you can also, that first spot I come down, if that's not active, uh, sometimes you can come down right down here and catch them as well. So there's plenty of spots for you guys. Upcoming clip, I'll show you my winning run and kind of explain that setup and that sort of thing. Okay, guys, moving on to the winning run. I wanted to explain a few things to you. Number one, I'm doing something that is a little risky. This does help with your bite right now. You can tell this is kind of an arbor, arbitrary timer, so to speak. Uh, if you go to catch a fish too fast, it's kind of going to do this to you. Again, a lot of key notes that I'll throw up here is, uh, you know, you could get bit off potentially. However, just one rule of thumb that you want to do is make sure that you got your drag set lower. The reason I'm saying that is because I'm running without titanium leaders. And the reason I'm doing that is hoping to get a little bit better of a bite rate. Uh, now, again, this may be uh, a bit controversial. Some other players uh, may say it doesn't affect the bite bait. That's all up to you. But for me, it does seem to affect... Uh, the bite rate not having a leader on uh, does seem to help me and it may help you at least give it a try uh, if you don't want to you can actually just use these marks and try the titanium leader but the, again the biggest keynote i can give you is keep that drag down if it starts getting up in the orange like this one's getting away from me uh, you know as long as it's coming toward you be careful jerking that rod up too long uh, most of the time just make sure that that stress meter is not up in the orange but again, I pulled in a trophy there. Now, I did get bit off one time before, the last time I played in this. Uh, but I've noticed if it starts to run on me, let's see there, I clicked down the three drag just because it was putting up a lot of tension. Now, uh, like I said, you won't get, get uniques on this thing for whatever reason. The peak is just horrible. A lot of the guys, now that the telescopic rod has been patched, you can tell by the score there's not people using the telescopic rod. With that being said, that is awesome. A fishing planet to finally worked on that. Uh, for the average person that wants to come in here and have a good time and feel like they can be competitive, me putting this guide up with these marks and the strategy should be able to help the majority of you guys that were not doing well in this score a lot better. And that's what I would like to see. That was the goal ultimately when I started my channel, seeing how much of an experience gap there was in these competitions on Fishing Planet. Uh, so I hope this hope, you know, equals out the playing field, so to speak. Uh, I think I end up winning the offset hooks nine but they actually give away the x-series trophy spoon in this the x-series uh grubs and uh, several other good little lures and stuff that uh you definitely would like to have in your tackle box in your inventory again this one here's got away from me but again i'm three click down i will show you the setup later in this but basically it's just an equal match with 83 pound fluoro on it uh, now as far as your depth you want to go anywhere from in my opinion uh, 45 inches 60 inches or 27 inches uh, i think majority of this one i ran 45 inches deep uh, towards the end, I switch out and I think go to 27. But if you're not getting a bite at 27, you're not getting a bite at 45, go to 60. I would not go any deeper than that. But as you can see, this one's trying to get away from me. I even go down to four click. Again, I'm trying to limit the stress on them. I'm trying not to lift my rod up too much until I see them to start running at me. Again, key note, you don't want to just sit there and rip and tear on it in this situation. Keep that stress meter down in the green. That way your line tension. Also, uh, make sure that you don't have your line all worn out before you get in here. If you're trying to do this, I'm running fluoro line. Again, not to keep beating it in the ground, but that, that will affect you. And you guys that's watched me fish for pike, I do something similar. 
uh, you know I keep the uh, stress meter down I do think that it does help you and uh, again not to sit and argue with any other streamers or any other players that's played this game a long time uh, for me I would rather you know I'm not risking a lure it's just a hook uh, you know don't put on your good lures uh, on something like that and risk it but if you're just you know at worst case scenario you're going to lose a hook here guys so uh, as I'm pulling in some more fish I'm just showing you how as I'm going through here on all these spots uh, farming all the spots that I showed you there just to prove that's where I was fishing now, again these things you know you want to practice a little bit so maybe going with a friend but hopefully with me putting this up should definitely get you guys in better position to play Santa Tiger Trails and also uh, you know pay attention to that it will not let you catch them too quick so it's kind of going to bounce but you know play around with your own setup maybe you like a little bit different setup maybe you could run braid uh, for me, fluoro seems to be uh, helped quite a bit on the bite rate on this one. This is a really horrible peak. It's pretty much the, what they call the Death Valley peak here. Starts out at 8 a.m. and it does nothing but drop. And so you know, you want as you're going through uh, hook size as well. I, I usually start out with the 7.0 as the peak's falling. Uh, now when your bite starts to slow down, that's usually when I've switched off here to the fluoro. So the first maybe one or two spots, stay with the 7.0, see how it goes. Uh, and then from there, you just want to go through and harvest. Now, if a spot's dead as I pull in this nice trophy uh, on that spot that I was telling you about, uh, but, you know, if, if for whatever reason uh, your bite goes dead, don't make, don't wait too long to make any adjustments, you know, be on it quick. Uh, and sometimes you may come into these things. Uh, nobody can help you with the RNG. Any of you guys that's followed along the channel have seen me be completely dead like doing similar strategies and similar clumps have done well before. So nobody can really help you uh, with luck. But this is far, uh, should be a really good guide for you guys. And hopefully, again, I want to close up that skill gap. Uh, anybody that appreciates this, please leave a like. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please do so as well. Or at least consider doing so. I enjoyed uh, my channel and everybody that's helped me out. So I appreciate uh, returning the favor and hopefully it helps you guys out. And take care and we'll see you in the next one.